Once upon a time, there lived a little Melody. Her name was Celeste. She was a lonesome little tune. Because, you see, she just didn't belong to anybody. One day, Celeste heard of a far-off city where everybody had a melody all his own. Oh, that's the place for me. So off to the far-off city went Celeste. The whole city sang. Clocks tick tock and rang their bells. The little houses were fat and skinny and popped songs through their chimney pipes. And harem scarum, all the crooked and straight little streets came running and bumping into each other. City sang. Soon Celeste came to the marketplace. Let us tell you what we'll sell you. Fruits and candies and tomatoes too. We will sing as loud as we're able to. A round little penny for a round little berry. My strawberries are very red, my strawberries are very red. Buy my cabbage heads instead, buy my cabbage heads instead. Candy on a stick is very sticky, candy on a stick is very sticky. Buy an orange. Squeeze an orange. Oh, cry, Celeste. Please, won't someone sing me too? Ahem, said a police whistle. And whose little tune are you? Nobody's, I guess, said Celeste. I just don't belong to anybody. Why then, cried the police whistle, you must be an orphan. So they took poor Celeste away to the darkest corner in the city where all the little orphan melodies lived, in the house of the terrible Miss Squeak. Her tongue was sharp. Her temper was sharp. And her tune was, well, just listen to her. Oh, shriek, Miss Squeak, I don't like tunes that tinkle. And she glared at Celeste. All the little orphan melodies peeked from behind chairs and tables and the door. Some of them were marching tunes. Some of them danced. And some just whistled. They smiled at Celeste. And Celeste smiled back. Oh, this is too much, Squawk Miss Squeak. I don't like friendship to bed, all of you. And that night, Celeste cried herself to sleep. Many, many days passed, and each day Miss Squeak would shout at Celeste, Do this, do that, do it over, and over, and over, and over, and over, faster, 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 faster! Now go to bed! And 
every night when work was done celeste would sit at the window and listen to the city singing far off and away oh thought she perhaps tomorrow someone will come and take me for his very own melody but no one ever came until one day the herald trumpet stood at the city gate hear ye hear ye uh, can you hear me don't you dare go off in a huff i know i'm speaking loud enough prince cello and all the ladies and gentlemen of the great orchestra have come to the city to find a new melody for prince cello to play all often tunes are invited to the ball for the prince to choose the fairest of them all hear ye hear ye here they come first came the gentlemen dressed in silver and black the woodwinds Then came the handsome Prince Cello. And the great ladies in their gleaming dresses, the violins. and the knights in golden armor, the trombones and trumpets. Oh, here come the big fat cooks, the double bass, and the tuba. And last of all, xylophone, the jester. cried Celeste, if only Prince Cello would choose me for his very own melody. Oh, no, shrieked Miss Squeak, you're not going to the ball. The prince would never choose a silly, tinkling tune like you. And she threw Celeste into a dark, empty closet and locked the door. Celeste sadly brushed a tear away. I wonder if I'm pretty I think it's such a pity To be a melody like me The loneliest tune in the city I wish the prince would say Come dance with me, I pray But who would ever dance perchance with the loneliest tune in the city. Suddenly a little brown mouse popped out of his hole. And why, may I ask, aren't you at the ball? Because Miss Squeak says I'm such a silly melody, and besides, I'm locked in. Oh, said the mouse, is that all? Watch me! He scampered across the floor and began to nibble at the door. And soon there was this great big hole in the door of the closet. Right this way, said the mouse. Oh, thank you, said Celeste, and off to the ball she ran. But we'll run faster and see what's been happening meanwhile. Why, we're just in time for the square dance. Trumpets hop and skip with the tunes. Violins now pluck your strings. Uh, 
bassoon, now dance with old Miss Squee. Slap that bass, trombone slide. You're much too slow, how fast can you go? Hear ye, hear ye, uh, can you hear me? Prince Cello is ready to judge every tune. Make way for the prince as he enters the room. Prince Cello walked to his throne. Very well, said the prince. Let us begin. The first tune in the contest will be Miss Mary Scherzo. The prince shook his head. Miss Jenny Polka. cried Xylophone the Jester. That's the tune for me. <laughs> Miss Dora Dirge. Prince listened to hundreds of tunes, and still he shook his head. Next, please. Why, it was Celeste. Oh, shriek, Miss Squeak, Celeste, how dare you come to the ball? Everybody stared at Celeste and chattered with excitement. Silence, shouted the Prince. All orphan tunes are welcome here. Let her sing. Why, cried the prince, she's very beautiful, and I choose her for my melody. Please, Celeste, may I have this dance? Celeste curtsy. A pleasure, Your Highness. Hail to Celeste, shouted the golden trumpets. I'm so happy, I could dance forever. And for all you know, she may be dancing still. Oh. 